Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, May is almost upon us and we are budgeting and tracking for May. Um, and we're gonna commit <laughs> and we're gonna do this. Um, and I've got two new savings goals and I might have one that you didn't see. So we're gonna flip to May into our dashboard page. And I have a setup with my bank account where I save $2 a day. Um, and my hopes is to do that and not spend it. So my, like this paycheck or this for the month of April, that didn't work, um, because I spend too much, right? So my goal is to make this happen and have this much in the bank by the end of the month. Um, I also have two new goal, goal, um, descriptions because yay for me, uh, plans to go to Disney. So... Um, my plans for Disney are for next January. So I have, um, broken it down into paychecks. I get paid bi-weekly. So I have 21 paychecks between now and when I leave. <coughs> so in doing that, that allows me to set a reasonable budget and that's, or a reasonable savings goal. Sorry. So that's something to think about when you're trying to save or when you're trying to budget, make it reasonable for you. Don't make it too hard. Um, this is going to be tough because I do have a lot going on, but if I commit to it and do it and not fuss with it, it'll be fine. Um, so my first goal description is going to be, um, let's see, Orlando, uh, Disney plane tickets. So we're going to write in Disney plane tickets. Um, I've used a couple of apps and figured out that it's going to be like 150 bucks maybe, um, for a plane ticket and there's taxes and stuff on top of that. So, um, I've decided that, um, I want to save $200 for plane tickets. Um, my goal date is going to be January 24th and my amount to save monthly for plane tickets is going to be $10 ten dollars <laughs> well if you have better handwriting than me you'll do better and then disney park tickets disney's like a hundred bucks a day and i have um four days three nights um so i have three full days at disney i think right four days three nights check in one two three wait hold on oh now i can't now you need a cat oh i have calendar <laughs> i'm like hey i need a calendar um, I have a calendar. Not here. Do I have a January calendar? I do not have a January calendar. Oh no. Um, so it was Thursday. So fly in Wednesday. So one, two, three. Oh no, maybe fly Thursday. One, two, three nights. I think it's fly in Thursday. So land and then two days. So we're going to set the goal high um, and do $300 for Disney Park. That should do food and stuff too. So we have the same goal date. Um, the goal total is $300. And then that divided by $21 is going to be $15. So I have... A total of 25 that I want to save. Now what I'm also doing, oh look out, what I'm also doing for May um, or starting in May is a 52 week savings challenge. So this one um, is a really easy one. It is a dollar for the week that you're in. So week one is a dollar, week two is two, week three is three, week 14 is only $14, week 29 is only $29. I mean this is a reasonable escalation instead of like doubling it every week. Um, it's just whatever it is. So the most you're going to be saving per month at the end of it is a total of $52. And that gives you $1,300 by the end of it. Now I have 21 paychecks, which is 42, um, 42 weeks. So I'm going to be looking at about $903 on top of the 500 that I'm trying to save. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not sure where I'm going to use this yet, um, but that's what we're kind of here to figure out. 
So um, we need to make sure we've got everything set. So my starting balance, I'm just going to start with zero because that's kind of where I'm at anyway. Um, and want to make sure that our monthly budget stuff is good. Phone is 85, car payment, insurance, gas is 120, medical bills. I set aside some, well, I've in theory, set aside some money for medical bills and medication, which I do need to get because I am I need to start taking it. I've been forgetting. It's heartburn pills, so luckily it's not the end of the world. Um, let's see. So monthly budget for travel. Do I want to... I'm not going to travel this month, so I don't really want to go there. Um, emergency fund at the end of the month... I want to, okay, so emergency fund, do I want to double it up because that's in here? Um, I think I do. Emergency fund, and I want to save $62. So I want that to be my normal $2 a day. So I want to have $62 by the end of the month. And then personal savings. Did I just do that wrong? It's $15 per paycheck. I did all of that wrong. It's a month, so I want 20 and 35 in here. So we're gonna use this terrible whiteout because it's all we've got. And we're gonna do 20 and 35. It's the problem when you budget <coughs> by paycheck and you get paid bi-weekly you have to remember to do these things. So I kind of wanted you guys to see the struggle. Luckily I messed up. Um, so $62 for the month and then personal, I want to have 55 saved. Do I want to turn personal into Disney? I don't really know. Um, we're going to get into these extras now. Am I totally off camera? I am. So we're going to get into these extras which is my weird, you know, not weird, but my unique things. So cigarettes, it's like 63 a carton. It's 120, 120. So I want my goal to be 125, um, two cartons a month. I actually want it to be much less, but for now we're going to set it at 125. Um, so we're already tons of, tons and tons of money um it's crazy to see how how bad that is look out i don't know why i keep hitting um so i have my goals set up and i have my monthlies i think i'm going to put these 52 week savings challenges in saturdays or i mean on sundays because i don't have any bills i don't have any bills coming out on saturday but i want it to be in the same place So I think I want to, well, I can always set it on Saturdays to be the day after. Okay, we're going to commit to that. We're going to do that right now. We're going to do it on Saturday, which is the day after payday. So we're going to do week one. And this one, the 52 weeks, I think is going to be cash savings. Um, I think I'm going to pull it and I have a little, the zipper pocket that comes with the planner. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to put the cash there. Week two. Week three. And week four. Four. Let's make sure this all pans out right. Paycheck here. So one and two out of that paycheck and one and two out of that paycheck. Perfect. So we've got that all set aside. So now that's done. I also have these goal stickers somewhere that I want to use. 
They should have been right next to that. I haven't moved them, but it's kind of a pain to move stuff once they're in this book. I have so many stickers. <coughs> so, if we have 21 paychecks, we need to figure out where we're going to be to mark these because I want to have these for the goals for like flight and days and I, I just don't know how to use these. I mean they'll fit nicely in the sidebar. Now I don't have a calculator. <laughs> um, well 21 divided by 3 is 7 so if I do it in thirds it's 7, uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 5, 10, 15, 20. So 21 is basically five months, right? So if we do five months, and I'm so glad that I have this like future goal to build for because this is important. Because it's, tw no, it's not 20 months. That's not right. 21 paychecks. So every five paychecks. So every month and a half. Really? Every month and a half? I'm 25% of my goal? This is where budgeting gets hard. And I have a talking kitty that wants scratches, so she'll shut up. Yeah. Every five, no, two and a half months. That's why. It's every five paychecks and it's two and a half months. So we don't have to worry about that necessarily right now. Um, I should build out this for the rest of the year. Um, so every two and a half months, I'm going to have one of these. Well, two, two of them anyway, um, for plane tickets and um, yeah, park tickets. So yeah, every two and a half months. So that's where we're at. We're just, you know, going to keep an eye on things. Um, today's Sunday, so we've got one more day left in April, and then we get into May. Now, this is already going to be moved because I didn't have enough to make it through. So I wonder how I should move it. I don't have any, like, good arrow stickers. Um... I want something like indicative of like bad, you know, like moving is not good. Stop it. I don't know why she cries. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Anyway, sorry. I don't have a red there. I do Ooh. knocking stuff down. I have a red. I want to use red. I don't even know. This is the hardest part of the whole video. Just figuring out how to note that this is being moved. I think I'm just going to use purple because I, oh no, green because it's Geico. Aha! Silly. Just a line across. Line across. And mark it there. So Geico is going to be moved to Friday come out of that and I have insurance on this month which is good see that's the problem with you know the bi-weekly stuff too it just gets to be so much fun so I think we're mostly set <coughs> to see how we do because remember this is our test month we're going to write down our transactions every day in here um and we'll probably do them in a regular pen um, and highlight them to color code them, see if we can't get um, some sort of system going to make sure that we know what is what. And then we'll highlight over here to note what it reflects over here. So we'll get there and we'll figure it out. We had entertainment in here, didn't we? Entertainment. Yeah, entertainment. So I think we're going to use these categories to kind of base everything off of. So when we get a couple of days into May, we'll revisit and we'll look at what we've paid, 
how we mark that down. Um, I do have my bills out here. I just went down to August, but I have my details because I have rent, car payment, car insurance, um, cell phone, Amazon Prime, Amazon Music, Xbox, Hulu, and credit card. And I feel like that's all I have. Um, credit card, Xbox, Amazon. Yeah, that's that's what we've got going on. So that'll be fun to track those to make sure that we pay all those. <coughs> Yearly savings goal. I like this idea, but I don't know how to use this page just yet. And then I'm going to check for any stickers that we may be able to use right off looking into stuff. Do to do, do. Those are my month headers. These are things. Fake it till you make it. Today is my day. Yes, you can. Mind over, I like that mind over matter sticker. I think I want to get that in here. May. Can I fit that anywhere? No, not really. Hmm. All right. Um, Bill do short-term goals, long-term goals, monthly tabs, noted some yays, some stars. No, no stickers yet. So guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know down in the comments. Um, I think we're started and we're ready to kind of get stuff together. So Saturdays are going to be our savings days to make sure that we do this. Um, this is automatic. And then do I want to list moving money? I do. I do. I do. I do. Do I have a sticker for that? I just need like two box checklists. Or weekly something. I wonder. Okay. I'm going to pause you guys real quick. I'm going to dig through some stickers see, see if I can find something. Okay. So I found um, this five heart checklist out of a, an old kit. I cut it not so gloriously crooked. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit of room for something. Stop, Zoe. I'm going to get it stuck down. She sounds like it's the end of the world. Everything sounds like she's dying. You're not dying. What are you doing? You're fine. Yes, you are. I'm, um, yeah, sorry. This is my life. We pause for kitty pets. And then here comes Kaylee, the little asshole. Because she's a pain. So, I cut that down to four. Um, so it would make a little bit more sense. And I lost my black pen. I lose my black pen. So unorganized. And so we're going to mark um, Disney Plain, Disney Park. twice. So we know to save twice in that month <coughs> for each of those. Um, we're going to put this little important tab above it. Now I'm kind of pissed of where I put it. I didn't know I was going to use one of these guys. Super crooked. Whatever. I will survive with that. 
So now we have our sidebar for this. So important, we need to save for these. These guys are marked, we can check them off as we go. Um, and yeah, I think we're already, we're already there. All right, guys, this has been a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, sorry. Um, but, you know, we gotta look at the whole process. And I think we're ready to start for this coming month. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave those down in the comments. I will um, talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.